I actually forgot to save last time. I think. I don't think I did, but I'm gonna save again just to make sure. Because things are about to get dicey. So welcome back, everybody, to the finale of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword with your host, MJ406. And it is a long one because, well, the final epic battle of Demise is upon us. Master, Master, I have important information for you. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a 0% chance that you will be able to return unless you are able to vanquish your foe. Wow, complete zero, huh? No scenarios at all. He's that evil. Are you ready to proceed? You can do anything else you need to do in the game before you go in. So you can go back to the cur current time, get all the gratitude crystals, the high on shield, whatever. But, once you get your ready, it's all downhill from there. Understood, Master, Master. Know that even in the place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you. And, Master, good luck. Oh, thank you! You actually wish me to hopefully do well. Alright then, I shall not let your... Let your regrets be, you know, worth being regret. Or whatever. Ooh, wow, this is oddly peaceful. So, this is the kind of world you want, or something? Or did you just create an ideal setting for me? It's very beautiful. It really contrasts with you. Ah, oh, so you've decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Well, I've got nowhere else to go. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. That's what you think. Still, it is an epic battleground. It's just an empty, it's just an endless void. The hate for the gods has boiled in my veins. Why do you have to say it on me? You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. Garam really did hit the guys. He was kind of a dick. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? You really think you're gonna beat me? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kid will soon follow, as I wipe all who oppose me from the face of this world! Ooh. So, this is the bleakness the world is to look forward to, alright? Sure, I will not let it happen. It won't be long now, at last. The almighty power I've sought for millennia. I will take the Triforce for my own. And the world shall be under my foot for eternity! Here we go! The final battle! The actual final battle! Demise! It's a, just a sword fight between you two, whelps. He blocks everything you do. Mostly. And he's powerful as hell. However, you can block him and then try to go for strikes. If you keep doing this, eventually you'll knock him down and you can just whack the shit out of him. Makes it look easy, doesn't it? You gotta time your blocks well, though, so you can actually knock him over. Yeah! You ready for the most hype shit ever? He's back up, and now... HIS OWN SKYWARD STRIKE! Wow! He has his own electric blade he can do. Well, the Skyward Strike. Follow his example, create one of your own. No! Say yes! That's right! Did you like that? I bet you did! Ow! So yeah, you're both competing with each other in your Skyward Strike ranges to see who can electrocute you first to finish them off. Alright! You ready for this? You ready for this shit? Oh god! Ow! Oh man, you're not taking any of that. Yeah, yeah, your sword's cool and all, but mine's better. Go if you got this. Oh yeah! Time for the fatal blow! Ah! The first one always misses. So you have to get a fatal blow on him to finish him off, as you would expect. No! You ready for this? Watch this! Oh, he's down! He can go, go all the way! Yeah! Victory is mine! Whoo! And that marks the end of the battle. Whoo! Pretty violent, too. He jumps in the air, charges Skyward Strike, and then just stabs it into his chest. Like, damn! That is...
badass. What a way to finish him off. Although, if you know how to fight him really fast like that, it makes it a little anticlimactic, but your first time fighting him is actually, well, you have to get used to it. Still, what a fight. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I've ever known. Though this is not the end. It isn't? But I just killed you. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. I will rise again. How so? We killed you in the future, too. Those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spear of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. A curse? Well, that could that be? An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to water a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time! That incarnation, as you may be able to guess, is the origin of Ganon slash Ganondorf. Basically, the essence of Demise lives on through all of Ganon and Ganondorf's. To attack all future Link's and Zelda's. But now things are at peace, for now. With the original Demise conquered, the world, for the time being, is saved as I suck the darkness into the sword. Oh god, no, no, no! Why don't you suck the darkness into the sword? It's terrible! I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. I can't wait to become Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away. No, that's not. Oh God, <laughs> he's corrupting me. Ah, <laughs> that'd be terrible if she cor if if the if the Demon King actually corrupted Fee. I mean, oh God, <laughs> no. What am I? What am I gonna fight it now? Why do we do this? Then again, it's a pure Master Sword, so I'm sure it works. As you can see, it had the power to seal away the demon like it's supposed to. You have done well, Master. Yeah, I have. Nice see you call me by my name. In a good tone, not like a condescending tone like you have been. Oh, Zelda is okay. Good, she got restored. Master, thank you. I think it's over. Finally, it's all over. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Oh no, did I do something wrong again? Damn, I better try to cheer up. <laughs> nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing in this little adventure I like to call the Legend of Groose. Are you kidding me? That's a little joke. Got- Thank God. I was gonna say, that better be a joke. That would be a terrible name. Joke or not, your contributions to our effort were heroic. You have my thanks. Yeah, you did well, Groose. Oh, uh, well, you know, just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Boy. Hey, so things are pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Are we? Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. I suppose you're right. <laughs> oh, jeez! What the heck? F, what do you want now? Do you want to talk to me or something? Hi, uh, your grace. Or perhaps you prefer, quote, Zelda, end quote. It pleases me to know you are safe. But, Master, I must speak with you. Huh? Why? Oh! Ah, right. It has to be resealed. How could I forget? Master, Master, you have successfully protected the goddess reborn, defeated demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Me just end it? Drive the sword to the pedestal before you, and I will return to the sword to enter a sleep without end. <laughs> You're gonna sleep forever? That's kind of messed up. Master, you achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword on the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. I suppose I should. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. I knew it! You felt nothing at all during this! So you thought nothing of me! Well, good. The feeling's mutual. I didn't think anything of you either. All you did was nag me, like a mom. Or like a freaking bossy girlfriend. I kind of feel bad getting rid of her, though. She's nowhere to go. I'd be treating her the same way I'd be treating Zelda. Then again, I'm more willing to do this one. You might come back eventually. We just have no idea when. Since warriors doesn't count, 
you shall be sealed forever. Oh, it properly fits. Was this here the whole time? I didn't even notice this friggin' sheath of the sword. And that is where it sits, waiting for every hero that gets the Master Sword to pick it back up. Pretty much all the console Zelda titles leave it like this. But I guess that's enough for now. Well, my journey's done. <laughs> huh? What? Wait! I thought you were sleeping forever! Master! What? You got any final parting words or something? Master, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first woke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that's called priority. That's memory you prefer, huh? That's a little weird. Oh, God! Don't tell me there's gonna be romance here. That would be really freaking creepy. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Master, but now, at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest with what your people call happiness. I do not love you! Go away! Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter this sleep that calls me to this world, I wish to relay to your words that recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. What would that be? Thank you, Master. Master, may we meet again in another life. Yeah, sure. Oh! Whoa, she managed just like that! She actually started developing emotions. That was, uh, unexpected. That works, though. So, this isn't a tearful goodbye, though. I'll see her again. Maybe. What? Yeah, but why? Come with us! Don't drag her along! Sadia, Grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. Yeah, you can't... So, yeah, I was gonna say, she's from the past. You can't drag her out of the past. She had to do it because I was incompetent in the beginning, remember? I... I know that, but... You're like a mother to me that I never had! Your headmaster never told you about your mother, did... Your mother, did he? What a dick. You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. <laughs> oh, good. So we can't have this problem again. That's nice. I can't do that! You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. What have you been through together other than her saving you? Please, Impa, come back with us! Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. <laughs> That's a shame. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. So that's what they were known as, the goddess's guardians. That's also explained in events in future games. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. The knowledge of its existence hidden from moral, mortal history. I was about to say moral history. These are the words the goddess spoke of, spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. I don't remember everything! You remember everything. You are Hylia. Stop hypnotizing me! Just accept it. Oh! I know you're sad. Hmm? What are you giving to her? Is that a, is that a flower bandana, headband or something? Huh. Oh, it's a matching bracelet. Oh, you'll be besties forever. Do not despair, Zada. You and I will surely meet again someday. Yeah, I'm I'm sure he will, because legend, you know, that, that that's just what happens. The legends have to meet up like that. I guess it's time for us to go now. 
Yeah, I know you're gonna miss her, Zelda, but you gotta do your tearful goodbyes. I did mine! You had to do yours. Now Cruz has to do his. Whenever that will be. That's the nature of all of us. We all have to do tearful goodbyes. Either way, it's good to be back without having to worry about anything. Whoa, 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 it's being wiped clean! Damn! That thing just got destroyed. And there's the old granny. And she's happy to see us. Let's go say hi to her. Come on, Zelda, don't hang back. I know you're sad about missing Impa, but you'll see her again. Wait a minute. Oh, damn, that is Impa! That makes so much sense! She's been leading us the whole time. She knew it was going to happen. She knew we were going to win. Yeah, it's a good thing we're all back. Isn't that right, Groose? Come on, bro. We gotta go bro out. Oh, I guess we should watch this emotional scene first. That's right, that moment you realized that old lady was Impa the entire time. See? I told you we'd meet again. That's right. We were always together from the beginning. So Impa was never my enemy. She just decided to see me in her past. Don't, don't pull her away. Don't take her away. Whoa! Oh, damn! You got trolled! She's dead! <laughs> I mean, oh, that sucks. Even the bracelet. There's your tearful goodbye, Groose. Impa, thank you. Thank you for everything. She's dead now, you can't say anything. Oh, and now If has been asleep with that sword for a long time now, so. There's nothing to see with that. Oh, but the door's opening, showing us a bright new future? Perhaps? I hope it's a bright new future, or else things are about to get much, much worse. Oh no, it's just showing the kind of environment the Master Sword will be left in. For whatever hero comes for it. The Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, whatever it may be, Master Sword will be there to vanquish whatever evil comes for it. We have good faith in you, Sword. It's a good thing that bitch never woke up, though. We'll never have to talk to her again, as she gets replaced by other better guides. Thank goodness. And with that, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is finally complete! This has been tied for my longest playthrough ever on my channel, pretty much going along with the Thousand Year Door. Holy crap! I honestly thought it would have been longer, but no! Because I had too many half-hour episodes, that's what happened. But yeah! So, that's the end of the origin story of The Legend of Zelda! So, a lot of the things have been explained in regards to the origins of everything. How Link was the chosen hero of the goddess. How Zelda was actually the goddess, Hylia, reborn as a human. And how they transcend through time in their descendants. And how Ganondorf is just a spirit of demise. That later inhabited a bit of evil to go after the other two. Faded to the Triforce. Oh, and now during the credit scene, you get to see what Zelda's journey was like. When she got sucked down the tornado, she landed down the Faron Woods unbeknownst to where she was. She was greeted by the old Impa so she could set on her quest. Ah, uh, we're gonna miss that old lady, aren't we? Maybe not. I guess she explained to her that she had to go to multiple springs to unlock the power needed to, uh, you know, get to the gate of time. That was it. And she managed to get her way to the first gate. How she not have trouble? Or did she actually, like, fight her way through. I really want to see. DLC! DLC! That didn't happen. <laughs> we don't need DLC for a game like this. Oh, look at that. She managed to sneak her way up here. Jeez. Did, like, all the enemies, like, follow her, but then they came after me just because they felt my presence or something? Oh, no. They did eventually find her. Oh, no. She's defenseless. Just like a typical female in distress. Oh, she got captured. And then freed by the past Impa. Does that mean that Impa was over 
a thousand, was like over 400 years old or something, or over 4,000 years old, however long it is in between the times. Like, holy crap! She lived a long time for that. And she watched her perform the ceremony at the gate of time in order to open it. Oh, that's back in the uh, Seal Temple of the Past, I see. That's what they did immediately after they went through when I was fending off Kirihim. And I believe that's where their journey ended? Yep. So that was the end of their journey. As the rest of it, she just spent her time sealed away. Or, you know, looking for me. Whatever it was. And this is the world of Skyloft as it is now. Still up in the sky. With all nature being beautiful and everything. Nobody's lives have changed! All that happened is that I got rid of something, but they don't need to know about it. Whatever. And Beetle's still flying around like an asshole. Selling nothing since I bought everything he owned, except this more Colossus Beetle. Maybe you give some of that to Stretch or something. I'm sure he'd be willing to buy it off you for real this time. Here he is, your pet. You can sell him off when he's ready to die. Maybe he might love bugs, but you don't know when they could die. Maybe he could heal them. Who knows? He's tried out. Alright, so anyway, that's the end of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Like I said, this is my second favorite Zelda game, mostly because the dungeons are created quite well. The items that you have with you in your inventory are used throughout the entire game, not just the dungeon you find them in. You also use them frequently in the, in the overworld to go around to every location possible. The combat is extremely well done, probably the best combat in the entire Zelda franchise. The bosses, for the most part, are pretty dang good. And, yeah, it's a, it's some of the best storytelling that's ever been done in a Zelda game. Plenty of emotion. The cutscenes are well animated, I guess, if that's anything to go by. Oh yes, and the music, of course. I never talked about the music, but that was pretty well done. It was fully orchestrated, I believe. A lot of the Wii games were like that, oddly enough. Oddly enough, the Wii U games kind of stopped doing that, but, eh, they fit with their games, so it doesn't matter. Plenty of interesting variety and colors. The game looks, despite being cell shaded, still manages to look quite good. I mean, I think it does look a little better than Wind Waker. Maybe not Wind Waker HD, but Wind Waker at least. That's why I love cell shade. That's why I really like cell shades. It doesn't really get rid of all the, uh, detail, and it manages to leave behind a, uh, a unique twist on color and uh, whatever. By the way, I just love this Zelda game. It's my second favorite of all time for a lot of reasons. And the origin of pretty much everything is revealed. The three fated to go Triforce of Courage, Triforce of Wisdom, Triforce of Power. The three faded along with those. All their histories and all the things that they're set to do each time an incarnation is ready. And then we also have the, uh, the Hylian Shield, which represents the very beginning. Created by the Thunder Dragon, apparently, all it shows is just the Crimson Loftwing soaring through, soaring through the Triforce, which is, in fact, originated from Skyloft. Thanks to the Goddess Hylia, protecting it inside Skyloft under the Goddess Statue. Good place protected, by the way. I mean, not everything is fully explained, I guess you could say, because some things were developed as later games went on. Then again, this game came out, like, 25 years after the original Zelda game did, so they couldn't answer freaking everything, because some things might have been established in a later game. You never know. New legends come every day. That's really cheesy, isn't it? Ah, oh, Satori Wada. Rest in peace, you noble man. You are a great gamer at heart. We will all miss you. And Nintendo is the author of the software for the purpose of copyright. All rights reserved. 2011 copyright Nintendo. Can't forget that copyright, baby. Yeah, I got hit a couple times for the music mostly, but it's a very good soundtrack. I wonder what you guys thought about this Zelda game. Leave it in the comments if you want to talk about what your favorite Zelda game is, whether you like this one, whether you didn't like this one. You can list your favorites in order. I really like to hear your people's opinions on this, because I'm in the unpopular opinion of this being a great Zelda game. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. For plenty of reasons. I mean, yes. It Fee is annoying. I almost actually called her If. 
Fee is annoying, and it's a little too linear, so there's not a lot of exploration to do, but, you know, the gameplay itself is very solid. It's just a nice, well-laid-out journey. And look at this, now we're back at Skyloft. Everybody's happy, and Bruce gets to share his adventures with the others. Good, maybe now we'll all be on friendly terms with each other. About dang time. I never wanted to be village with you guys. And you're still gonna play the- Oh, I'm playing the Battle of the Goddess now. Is this part of the ritual we did go through or something? Is this how we're supposed to end instead of me jumping off the statue and then using my sailcloth to not die? Crazy bitch. And see, now Groose is a friend. That's probably one of the greatest things we got out of this. He was originally an asshole, we turned his life around, and now he's a good guy. And all of his friends have turned around a bit, too. One of them got his heart broken, the other one gets to enjoy his hobby of collecting bugs. Everybody's happy. Isn't that right, Zelda? <laughs> Look around us! As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes. And feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. Wouldn't it be a cool breeze, not warm? I... I think I want to live here. Really? I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet. See the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. I guess that's a good way to live. <laughs> what about you, Master? What will you do now? What will I do now? <laughs> I know. Bend over! We're doing it right here, right now, on top of the statue. Oh, Master! Yeah, you tell me. Say my name. Master, you're goddamn right. And now our bird's gonna do the same thing. I mean, I honestly feel like it's implied that they get together. That... This is the first Zelda game where you actually see, like, a romantic relationship between the nameless hero, Link, and Zelda. They crafted it quite well. I say they did quite a good job with that. So, yeah, that is the official ending to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Some of them, Link and Zelda decide to live on the surface and, I guess, be together. And everybody else gets to continue their carefree days at Skyloft, or get to come down to the surface now. Which is nice as well. So, after you beat the game, you can now play in hero mode. This will delete your progress, however, but it lets you start the whole game over in a harder way. I'll be going over this in the bonus episode. There's going to be two bonus episodes, because I need to show off something else as well. But I'll be doing that in the future videos to come. So thank you all for watching Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Be sure to pay attention to the bonus episode, so the first will just go over the few differences in hero mode. And you'll have to wait to see what the second one is. I wish I could have done them both for the next video, but I imagine it be... Actually, you know what? I'll do it all in the next video. This one bonus episode, it'll be really long, but there's going to be a lot to show. So I hope you all look forward to it. It's going to be probably my longest episode of anything I've done since, like, Other M. Oh, man. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. This doesn't show up in the title screen automatically when you play the game, unless you have absolutely no files open at all. If it's your very first time playing the game, they'll go through a tutorial with you on how to use the Wii Motion Plus, which you can check the instructional video here, but... I'm not going to worry about that. That's not part of the game. That's part of the freaking console and its controller. Okay, anyway, see you guys next time on the bonus steps. We go over everything that you do differently in the hero mode, which actually isn't all that much. A lot of it's going to be dedicated to something else, which I think you guys know what that is. We'll see you all next time, and thank you all for watching yet again. You guys really are the best for sitting through this maybe somewhat torturous LP of me. Go through a lot of this. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Oh, cool. I guess we can watch this, too. I feel like this is shown in a trailer? Maybe? I don't know. But yeah. You hear the main theme, the Battle of the Goddess in the background. With a lot of stuff you can do in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This would have been a good intro to go on, but I guess it's going to be shown in the finale. That's fine. By the way, if you notice, if you play the Battle of the Goddess backwards, you may actually be able to notice that it's actually 
Zelda's Lullaby. So yeah, the Ballad of the Goddess is actually Zelda's Lullaby in reverse. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little music Easter egg. They've played these in this game. Along with, of course, other Easter eggs and references to previous franchises. What the hell was he drinking there? <laughs> I knew it was a potion. Damn, they really show, like, everything. Oh, yeah, I didn't get a great war of the cutting bamboo thing. You just get rare treasures. It doesn't matter. Wow, they really do show, like, freaking everything. My god. So, yeah. I guess this video is just a good way to reflect on what happened in the game. All the enemies we fought, all the places we've been. The journey is a good one. So, like I said at the beginning, like episode two, if the motion controls turn you off, I say give it a, give it a shot again. Set the Wii Remote sensitivity, it's a little messed up, and I'm sure you can find a way to make it work for you. It's a very fun game, and I really like the combat. It's one of my favorite things about it. But, I've been going on for too much longer than I was expecting, so I'm going to end it now. See you guys next time for the bonus material. Ah! Ow, my throat!